Anyway, you might have seen a snazzy film clip getting around. It's, you did a great job on that magazine for uh, wondering when love will come. So it's a single launch for that great tune. Look up the clip. It's a beauty. Put your hands together for Magpie Diary. <laughs> Well, how fucking good was that? That was Beat Myself Up by uh, our dear friend Magpie Diaries. And I'm here with the man himself, Magpie Johnson. How are you? I'm not bad, mate. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Thanks for coming on. Um, we've spoken about you a few times on our show, but normally about uh, your festivals, which you run out at, out at Dash, uh, Dashville. This is your music endeavor. Tell us a bit about Magpie Diaries and how it all got started. Uh, well, I guess uh, the Magpie thing's a name that's part of the festival thing, being resourceful and swooping down on shit. Uh, that was um, just, just, a, yeah, <laughs> just a nickname kind of a thing, but so uh, the diaries comes into it because it was at about the same time 
I was remembering songs yeah. and rewriting songs that I hadn't played since I'd started doing festivals because that, that kind of shit takes over yeah, and yeah. you don't really play the music as much as you probably would have yeah, otherwise. Yeah. So you've been writing obviously longer than you've been doing the, uh, the festivals. What yeah. kind of got you started, I guess? Were you a lyric writer first or was it always guitar or what, how's it start? Uh, well, my brother being 16, learning how to play guitar, yeah. he taught me how to play guitar and then and then I play bass guitar and he plays the lead guitar in a punk band when you, you know, you're 15, 16 yeah. and then, you know, Nirvana's around and fucking, you know, all the other things, Pearl Jam, Neil Young, yeah, yeah. you know, Jimi Hendrix, you just, you know, you just want to, you just want to achieve that or just kind of, you know, it's, it's where your interests lie, so you just keep playing and writing songs, and that's what I've been doing ever since, I guess. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. You mentioned a lot of those bands there. Magpie Diaries don't really sound like any of those no. bands. Maybe a bit of Neil Young. Well, I think, well, if you listen to Johnny Real and the Lovemakers back in, like, 2005, yeah. you know, that was pretty, that wasn't any of that either, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, it's kind of, I think uh, Magpie Diaries is definitely a, the next chapter of, of how, you know, I feel like I can present the, the story, you know, that... The, that the song is, you know. So, yeah. I mean, I love Grateful Dead, yep. you know, Van Morrison, the band, all that sort of stuff is definitely, you know, part of the the vibe of, of what Magpie Diaries is now. Nice. You know? well, you've been doing it a long, long fucking time. Why, uh, what made you think now is the right time for, I guess, the big debut album? Well, might not be, but I've got an album <laughs> now, so I've been, I've been working on it for a while. So, I, I just, yeah, it's sort of, uh, you know, about three years we've been recording the songs that that are on the album. You know, the songs themselves have yeah. been around for maybe even ten years. You know, yeah, like right. maybe even longer. But, um, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a, an evolution, and then and, and you get to a point now where it's like, well, you know, after four or five different recording sessions and back and forth, and you know, it's. It's, you've got this 11 tracks of, of music, and it's like, well, fuck! I've got to now. I've got to do all the other things with that now, and so it, you know, I'm still working out whether it's. I, I think maybe Dashville Skyline's where I want to release it, but yep. I'm a bit cautious of that because of the amount of work that goes on in a festival, yeah, yeah. and then putting a, an album release on that yeah, as right. well would be pretty difficult. I don't want to. I guess I don't want to spoil anything here, but you did a bit of recording for the album in America, right? Yeah, yeah, we did did some. Um, like in Mullumbimby yep. at 2am, you know, uh, <laughs> at Laguna out the back of Wollumbai. And, and always always the most inspired at 2am, yeah. I find. <laughs> That's it, man. Uh, and, and Nashville, a couple of sessions in Nashville yeah. as well, yeah. Not yeah. a bad credit to have yeah. on the uh, album liner. Yeah, but all the overdubs and stuff that we've done since the, since we laid the tracks, is, it's all just been done locally yeah. and, you know, and the one is at the internet. And, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned diaries before. One thing... I guess I've noticed because I've been seeing you guys for a long fucking time now. The EP that's been out for a while lyrically feels very much like it's about Dashville, the property, growing up, fucking watching your brother do this and trying to steal the neighbor's dog, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The stuff I've heard from the album lyrically sounds a lot more universal in a way. Like it's not, doesn't feel like it's just your story. Is that something yeah. that was intentional or just naturally came that way? Uh, I think it's probably just the, maybe just the songs that you've heard. I don't know if you've heard all of the songs, but there's a couple of, like the album, it's kind of, it's, I'm finding it hard to come up with an album title because of the, the hapless nature of how the songs have evolved. And yeah. there's definitely some new songs. Like Beat Myself Up is definitely a new song. That was, that was kind of written at a time where it's like, fuck, I, I just really want to, I just really want to be able to write a song. It's been a little while and, and I hadn't, you know, I was having a bit of trouble and, and, uh, and then, you know, you just fucking, you just bang that out and it's like that wrote itself in for 10 minutes you know mm, it's done yeah, yeah. And, and it's like well, yeah and that's that's just that song and you know the other ones like honey and honey was just a, a song that you know and that's that's one of the um you know, that's, an that's, that's it's an older song and you know that was from i wrote that in like 2008 to the, yeah when i was driving out to Wollongong trying to start the gumball out there yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i guess the, there's two of you currently doing this for the single when love comes tell us a bit about yeah. that tune and, and how well, it came about what it's about yeah I, that's probably one of the songs that i don't I, I remember sort of that song coming around but i don't really kind of there was no sort of lightning bolt or anything i think we've been playing it for a little while yeah. and um 
it's a you know it's a good song, but I always had like I didn't actually think it was as kind of as good as how it sounds now. It's mm-hmm. sort of like it's kind of really found itself, and the band's playing it, you know, pretty awesome. So, you know, if, like for me, uh, I rely on a band to to bring songs to life. Well, you've you know? got your wife on the drums; that must make it a bit easier, <laughs> or is that even more pressure? No, it's fucking great. I love <laughs> it, and it's, it's exactly what you know. I guess you realise what you want to do, and yeah. everybody's. Everybody's doing shit all the time, and yeah. we're all pretty busy. But yeah. the, I guess the reason I would do Magpie Diaries, and that's the reason we're doing this, is because I get to play with my wife and yeah, we sing yeah. songs together. And, yeah, well, you if know. you're doing it with your best friend, it's even better, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Man. Now, yeah. the single uh, I always, I've always known you to be an animal lover. What inspired the single? Where it really the video clip where it feels like you're <laughs> looking for the affection of a couple of pooches, a couple of dogs. What's that all about? Uh, I think I think it was a bit of a light-hearted take on uh, maybe like these days the dating game and tinder and fucking you know like i, I mean i met jess at the pub yeah, yeah coming here and you know 10 years ago or whatever and that was before all of that stuff and yeah, yeah. you know i i remember you know like we're all young ones i was you know i was giving it a red hot there and <laughs> you know, not, but uh yeah I, I just think about how dangerous it would have been like if if tinder's been around for so long and yeah. like, and just the that you can just dial a route on in a way like it's kind of crazy and yeah, it's the world, world we live in thankfully no, it's, it's, it's yeah, very convenient but um <laughs> but the the idea was just it was just a basic concept and i knew that if i included dogs that i would get it over the line yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. jess to to make it the video a reality you can't be hanging around with a bunch of women on <laughs> in front of your wife nobody, nobody wants to see me just you know getting pampered and like in the hip-hop video or something you know, maybe, maybe we'll do that later I'd rather see you kiss some dogs <laughs> yeah. awesome well look, yeah. thanks for having a chat we are uh, we're going to watch you play some tunes here tonight at the, our beloved Grand Junction yeah, man, forward, yeah. excellent man well look thank you again and thanks for coming uh, on Night Train TV sweet brother cheers mate thank you yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. The the brief here is to uh, explain why people should listen to Magpie Diaries, right? Well, I've always found them a thoroughly enchanting listening experience. They could be the next big thing. Ha, ha, ha.